Hi guys, happy Saturday. I am having my little afternoon snack and then we are glamming for Valentine's Day, which Valentine's Day was the day before Valentine's Day. If you don't know, now you know. Um, Valentine's Day is just celebrating the girls in your life. Hi Liz, hi Jasmine. I'm drinking a fizz stick and I just got my skin elixir fizz in. So this is a collagen builder with hyaluronic acid. It's acai flavor, it's delicious. Hi Tara, and the fizz stick I have in here is the rose champagne, which they still have some of it left. It's so stinking good. It's naturally derived energy, all vegan, all plant-based. Hi, Sarah. And it's just like the perfect pick-me-up. I actually didn't have one this morning because I slept really good last night, which is, you know, I have children, so that's not normal. But I was like walking on sunshine all morning. And I decided I would save this for Sue's party tonight. Thank you, Jasmine, you're so sweet. All right, so we're gonna do all non-toxic glam today. Um, I'm gonna start with a little of our face primer. Um, the Arbonne face primer is so good, it's so luxurious. If you notice my mangled witch hands, it's because I have ditched my acrylic nails, which I probably had acrylics on and off since I was in high school. Like for all my high school dances, I remember getting acrylics on and I've been a lifelong nail biter, so I'm really hoping to like ditch that habit for good, primarily because my eight-year-old bites his nails and I'm always on him about not doing it. So I figure if I can lecture him about not biting his nails, then I have to like pony up and not bite my nails too. So anyway, my nails are sad looking and I'm really hoping <clears throat> that the hair skin within um, but this stuff, this fizz, the acai flavor will help not only my skin, my hair, but also my nails. Hi, Tanya. All right, so primer is on. It feels so silky and delightful. And then I'm gonna use everything today from the 18 piece makeup kit. You guys, I'm $800 away from closing the gap and doing my big February month that I had set out to do. So if you guys were interested in any products, even just like a box of fizz, a thing of protein, like now is the time I am here for it. Hi, Nicole. All right, so everything I'm using today is gonna be from the 18 piece makeup kit. Um, everything you need for a full face is in it. You don't need to go in and buy other things. I am probably gonna use two products that are outside of that and I will tell you when I use them, one of them is the setting spray and the other is the glow palette. Hi love, how are you? But I will definitely tell you when I use something that's not part of the kit. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Soft Blush of our liquid foundation right now. This is a very fair skinned, as you can see, it matches me perfectly right now. And I am paper white, but it blends out beautifully and I'm trying to essentially not fake my complexion until we actually get some summer happening here. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Laura. Say hi when you guys hop on. Share this with your friends, all that good stuff. Like I said, we're 800 bucks away from closing out February the way that we had intended. So even though it's a short month, I know I can do it. All right, <clears throat> this stuff blends out like a dream. This is an Eco Tool sponge. I get these on Amazon or at Target. I wash it out with hot water and hand soap every time I use it. It keeps it clean so that you're not putting bacteria back on your face. But it also blends your makeup out like a dream when there's a little bit of dampness in it. Hi, Kira. And look at that coverage. So, so good. Literally, it blends out so nicely. Everything with Arbonne is hypoallergenic too. So if you have sensitive skin or eyes like I do, you don't have to worry about getting a reaction. And I just kind of pounce it right over my eyelids. I go everywhere. And if you guys have any questions, certainly shout them out. That is the benefit of the live video. 
All right, so having a little dampness in that sponge makes this go so super easy, especially when we get to the next step, which is going to be using the contour. Um, this is a concealer stick. And we're gonna go in and just make sure that our under eyes and everything are nice and bright. Hi, Peg. And I do blend that right down my neck. Okay, <clears throat> so now that our complexion is good, we're gonna go in with concealer. This comes in the 18 piece kit. This is the shade Fair, which is the lightest shade that we have. And I put it underneath my under eyes, down the center of my nose, down my forehead, down the center of my chin. Now women around pretty much most of the month are more hormonally red around your nose and your mouth. It's just got to do with hormones. Um, there's nothing you can do to stop it. So I always just put a little extra concealer in those areas right here just to neutralize that. So if you find that there are times of the month that you just feel more pink, it's hormones. Cause you know, we don't have enough to deal with as women. We have, we have to get pink too, like a mood ring. How fair is that? All right, so all the areas that I'm putting concealer on, I'm highlighting and brightening. And then we're gonna go through and add a little bit of bronzer and darken some areas up. Hi, Kristen. All right, so back to that Eco Tool sponge, I'm gonna use the short flat side and I'm just gonna sort of bounce it right over that concealer area and blend it out. And obviously we're on Facebook Live, so there are no filters. There is no, I just have my ring light on and whatever these light bulbs are above me. Hi, Kelly. All right, we're just blending that out. Yes, I have had comments before where people go, that takes a long time. It doesn't really. Um, but you do want to make sure that your makeup is well blended. <coughs> it's a super pet peeve of mine when I see people with like really good makeup, but you can see where it stops and starts. So just bouncing this on your skin a couple of extra times to alleviate that is completely worth it, in my opinion. Okay. Also, these fizz sticks, you guys, 50 milligrams of naturally derived caffeine. There's no um, jitters. There's nothing like that. You're not going to like just one afternoon peter out like you do with coffee. Um, like with coffee and me, I either get really hyped up or at some point during the day I crash and I don't get that when I use fizz sticks. Plus you're getting your water in, which is huge for your skin. Okay, we're good. So now we're gonna step over to setting pretty setting powder. Also, let's all say it together, part of the 18 piece makeup kit, so good. So this stuff is non-toxic, uh, paraben free. It smells like a cupcake and it's got a little bit of shimmer shine in it. So when you add this to your skin, it's gonna make your complexion glow. Hi, Nina. Um, I go in very light handed. I don't like to bake my makeup, which means that you apply a thick layer of it and let it sit there. And then later on in your makeup routine, you dust it off. I'm personally not one for baking because I feel like I notice fine lines and wrinkles on my face so much more when I do that. So I tend to go on with a very little amount when I do this. Um, and I'm cheap and I don't like to waste my makeup just to dust it off later. You know what I'm saying? All right, so this is a translucent setting powder. What it's doing is making sure that no matter what happens, if I sweat, if I get caught in the rain, all that kind of stuff, it's not gonna melt my makeup off. Now we started with all liquid and cream products, which means that as my body temperature rises, I will get warmer. Those liquid and cream products technically will move, but not if you set your makeup correctly with primer and setting. Hi, Michelle. Okay, so let's go in with some bronzer and warm my skin up. Bronzer, again, comes in the 18-piece kit. It's so good. I love it because it's a nice cool brown as opposed to being a warm brown. And personally, warm browns look really orange on me. So... I'm obsessed with this color. 
Now I go in with the smallest amount possible. As you see, I'm super fair skinned. So I don't like to go in too heavy handed because then it doesn't look natural whatsoever. All right, we're gonna go up and do our temples. Warm up that forehead area. Hi, Jackie. Down the sides of our nose. And our jawline. And we're gonna blend that right down our neck. Now on our neck, don't go down quite as far in the center as you do on the sides. Just like we sculpt out our face with highlight and contour, you do the same sort of thing with your bronzer. You go down just a little bit further on the sides of your neck and that leans you in even more. Does anyone remember that guy who was in prison and his neck was like almost wider than his head was? I always think of that whenever I like contour my neck out. The guy in jail with the huge neck. And it looked like he swallowed like a two by four. It was so aggressive. All right, we're just making sure all this is blended out. But look at the difference with some bronzer on. I feel human again. Oh my God, it's been a long winter here in the great Northeast for sure. All right, so new bronzer alert. I got this beautiful bronzer called Berry. Hi, Gemma. Um, super pretty. I love a nice pigmented bronzer, honest, uh, blush, honestly. Um, it just, it wakes up your face and I used to never be, it's quiet there. Uh, my kids are downstairs. Just, I'm sure at any point, everything will go off the rails here. As it normally does. Okay, so I love a, <clears throat> a really pigmented blush, personally. I never used to wear blush before I got into wearing makeup sort of as like a hobby and a side gig, but it really does help bring a little bit of extra sparkle to your face. And I'm 100% obsessed with blush now. So this is the shade Berry. Just got it in the mail, literally just dropped off. And it's gorgeous. Super pretty. I don't love this makeup brush. It's not Arbon, but I always see, you can see there's like little hairs that it sheds. And I'm not about that life. All right, so if you ever get to the point where you feel like you've over applied, hi Susan, how are you? Um, or you just wanna diffuse out color a little bit, take a big fluffy powder brush with nothing on it and just kind of go over that area of your face and it will diffuse it out. Hi, Melanie. And you can also add a little bit of setting powder if you want to. And it just like blends it out. So it's nice and neat. Blend, blend, blend. If I could offer you one tip, it would be to blend your makeup extra. All right, let's do our brows. I'm gonna use two brow products today. I'm going to use the light brow pencil and the light to medium brow cream. Again, it all comes in your kit. Hi, Amy. Um, it's literally, it's such a good kit. I've never seen a kit before where literally your entire face from start to finish is covered. And you get to customize and pick all the colors. With this you do. Okay, so the brow pencil, incredibly easy to use. And I'm actually gonna try to get nice and close because I get a lot of people that ask me these questions. So I also love that it's retractable. So I just start at the front of my brow and draw a line from the front to the back. And then I do the same thing on the top. And I start a little bit further back when I do the top so that I can create that nice kind of fade in and it doesn't have to look fake. Just like that. And I'm going to do the other. So just the difference between with <clears throat> just pencil alone. But then when we go in with the brow cream, it's going to allow you to position your brows everywhere that you want them to be. So if you're looking for a fuller brow without it looking fake, that's where the brow cream comes in. It's perfection. 
Hi, Andrea. Hi, Kate. So I'm going to do this brow over here again. I just start in the front on the bottom and I go from front to back. And then we move to the top. Just filling these in. You want to pay particular attention to the arch and the tail because that is typically what gets thinner and um, less pronounced earlier than the front of your brow. So just building up that arch and the crease, or the arch and the tail, rather, is gonna give you a much more youthful appearance. <laughs> Taking notes, you're funny, Kate. But yeah, honestly, my mom, whenever I do her makeup, she goes, don't give me those crazy eyebrows, Megan. Like, could you imagine? Mary. And I never do, and I wouldn't, but she was always just afraid that I was gonna go in hot and like draw those like scary, surprised brows on her. So um, yeah, I kind of had to rein her back in. But now that I've showed her how to do it, she's like, wow, it takes 10 years off. And it really does. When you structure your face, you add a little extra color in the right position and you make things that are more youthful appear back on your face. Like if you ever look at children, they have really deliciously thick and pronounced eyebrows and that's part of youth. So if we can kind of just notice those little things that you see in children, like big, thick, long eyelashes, it's basically like a reflection of youth and health. That's what you want to see year round. Hi, Kayla. Hi, Andrea. All right. So I'm going to take the brow cream. This is in the shade light medium. Again, it comes in the 18 piece kit. And basically what I do is I just brush it on my brows in an upward motion. And that keeps all my brows going in the right direction. Super simple. And it makes them look so nice and full without making them look fake. That's one of the things that I loved most about Arbonne and it kind of um, was a big influential portion of me deciding to make the switch was that I was starting to think that I didn't look real anymore using the stuff I was using before. It was fine. There wasn't anything quote wrong, um, but I just was like, I kind of look a little too extra every time I go out. Like I would see people at Hannaford being like, get a load of this one over here with the honey boo boo situation happening and I was like "Ooh, geez they're talking about me aren't they devastation city population me hi Brenda <clears throat> okay so let's go and do eyes now I th I'm an idiot I thought that I bought the eye the second eyeshadow palette and I didn't so I'm gonna have to do another order um because I wanted to show you guys both palettes now I got palette one in my original makeup bundle and I'm obsessed with it, but I wanted to have both of them to show you guys because variety is the spice of life, as they say. Um, so let's go in again with palette one until I can hop on and get my life together and order palette two. I liked your makeup with Unique too. I did too. It's not that I didn't like it. It's that I started to not feel authentically myself anymore. Hi, Sarah. Um, to be honest with you, Gemma, I started chasing a personality that was not my own and I did a little bit of a gut check and went what are you doing like this doesn't feel like you and you're like putting on makeup to look like someone else and you're doing it the way that they do it because they're successful and I it was just like a never-ending chase for something I don't even think I really wanted so when I started to think about and prioritize the things in my life that were important to me, it was getting my dad's health back on track, which that, sadly that did not happen. Um, it was taking care of my family. It was paying a lot of attention to nutrition and the ingredients of things that I was putting in my body and on my body. Um, like when we were going through all the health stuff with my dad, there was no nutritional support from the hospital and he was a cardiac patient and all of the information that we got about how to like try to help these things that were happening to him from the inside out were all based on our own research and I got like really pissed off about it to be honest with you so um that led me to try to be more plant-based and really more mindful about the things that I was eating and ingesting and putting on myself and my kids 
and that led me to Arbonne. I've never done my eyebrows. This is great info. You're going to love your eyebrows, Nicole, especially as a blonde. Holy banana pants. You're going to go wild. Um, so that's sort of the rabbit hole I went down that led me to Arbonne. And then the more I learned about like toxicity and how much your skin actually absorbs chemicals and the things that are not actually regulated or banned in the cosmetics industry, it made my skin crawl. So I'm like, I got to do better because I'm 35 and I don't want what happened to my dad to happen to me or my husband or my kids or my mom. So I just started to kind of be more woke. So welcome to woke Megan 2020. She is a handful and she will actually get her shit together and she will order palette two because I only have palette one still. All right, so let's go a little bit bougier tonight. I'm going out with my girlfriends. Who am I? So let's go a little darker and let's go in with mahogany. This really pretty, it's like a brownish purple. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go and blend this into my crease. And with eyeshadow, I always go in super light. And I know that some people think that this takes a while, but I think it's 100% worth it to do this. Don't go in heavy with too much makeup at once. It's sort of like cooking. You wanna add a little bit at a time so that you can control the way that it looks or the way that it tastes if you're cooking. So we're just gonna blend this into the crease. I have to do everything. <laughs> when I do it to one eye, I have to do it the other because I'm a symmetry weirdo. Hi, Lindsay. All right, blending, blending, blending. And just like all the other makeup on your face, you can go from bad to great just by blending your makeup in correctly or fully, because there's so many people that just kind of like, oh, that's good enough. Don't ever stop with good enough. Keep blending. All right, let's grab the shade Cactus. Do I wanna do Cactus? No, nope, let's go Red Rock. We're going bougie. So we're gonna go grab Red Rock and I'm just gonna press this into my lid from the corner of my eye over and just add a little bit of that warmth. And if you notice, I'm not getting any fallout, number one, because these are hyperpigmented and number two, because I'm tapping off the excess before I touch my eye with it, because I don't want to clean up my under eye. Have it be all messy and whatever. Not for me. All right. out. All right, and now let's go in with our finger and I'm gonna grab the shade Fog just this like sort of ivory color. And I'm gonna put this right on the interior crease of my eye. It just kind of brightens up your inner eye and makes you look a little bit more awake. And I'm just pressing it in. The warmth of your finger sort of helps to melt it in there. Hi, Kiwi. Okay. So let's grab, I'm gonna grab an eye pencil in the shade Carob, gorgeous brown. And we're just gonna throw a little bit of that right along the lash line. Make sure lashes look darker, thicker, bolder. And again, everything here is in the kit. All these colors are customizable. Tons to choose from. <clears throat> Hi, Allison. All right. Now, Speaks Volume. All right, so I did get a new product. Speaks Volume is what comes in the 18-piece makeup kit, but I was interested in the It's a Long Story mascara, so I do want to take a look at this. The Speaks Volumes comes in the kit, and it's amazing, but this was on sale for Valentine's Day, and it's also waterproof, so I wanted to give this a try, too. So we're going to go with It's a Long Story. Ooh. 
Look at that. That's a serious wand right there. All right, so this is the Arbon. It's a long story mascara. And I can already tell you that it does a beautiful job separating your lashes. I know that there are a lot of people who prefer a waterproof mascara, which is this. It's a long story. And that's because if you have a hard time getting your lashes to stay curled, grab a waterproof mascara because it does hold that curl a little bit better. I personally never curl my lashes and I don't know why to tell you the truth because I love the way that it looks. Um, and last summer I got a lash perm and uh, what was it called? An Elabana lash lift I got. And it was so good. But for the first like two weeks, they were so tight that I was like, I don't know if I like this. But once the curl, they put like a perm rod right on your lashes. Uh, once the curl loosened up a little bit, it was perfection. So this does a beautiful job of separating your lashes and making them look really wide and full. Which, hello. <clears throat> Hi Terry. Hi Lindy. I always do a minimum of two coats of mascara. I don't know if that's normal, if I'm an underachiever somehow. Whoops. Gonna have to fix that. All right, so now I'm gonna take whatever I have left over on my wand and just do my lower lash line with it. Living for it. Okay, so if you love waterproof mascara, it's a long story, Arbonne Mascara is the tits, you're gonna love it. The Speaks Volume comes in the 18 piece makeup kit and it's a winner as well, but I wanted to show you a little bit of variety because I got some new products in today. And hi, it's all about showing variety. Okay, perfect. So now we are, I'm gonna go in with the Glow Palette, which like I said, I'll tell you if I'm using something that doesn't come in the 18 piece kit, but look how, beautiful this glow palette is literally perfect for summer I think everyone should get this for summer and I'm going to go in the shade moonstone right here and I'm just going to blend that right on the top of my cheekbone and just add a little bit of glow and warmth hi Meg and you can just see that gorgeous glow that it leaves behind super natural not like you know uh, rainbow bright sort of situation happening just like a beautiful natural glow and I, apparently I want it everywhere because I can't stop it's fine everything's fine the house is on fire but it's fine okay so I'm gonna actually go in with a eye pencil this is the shade morel it's an eye pencil but I love it as a lip liner and I'm going to blend it in with two other favorites of mine, um, Mimosa Lip Gloss and Willow Lipstick. So again, this is an eye pencil in the shade Morel. And I do slightly overline my lips right in the center, which means I go on the outside, just or underneath the lip. And on the top, I overline just in the center. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, Kelly. All right, so that's the shade Morel Eye Pencil. And now I'm gonna go in with lipstick in the shade Willow. This is literally such a perfect nude lip. Look at that gorgeous. You're so gorgeous. Oh, Kelly, stop it. You're so sweet. All right, just gonna make sure that's blended into the liner. 
And then we're gonna top it with this shade Mimosa, which is so pretty for spring. Everybody needs it. Just a perfect pink pop. And it smells like, like a mimosa with a grapefruit kicker. And remember, non-toxic. You're adding this to your lips, which means that there's a pretty good chance some of this is going down the hatch today, but it's non-toxic. You don't need to worry about it. <clears throat> okay, so another product I'm gonna use that is not part of the 18 piece kit but I love setting my face with setting spray. Um, if you notice, even though we use the setting powder, I always finish with setting spray because I start with creams and liquids and I set them with powder, but you set powder with liquid like a spray. And I personally love this because it's so refreshing. It makes your skin feel so great when you're done with it because it just adds a little bit of extra moisture and hydration and it's gonna pick up all of the little um, gorgeous mineral sparkliness of the translucent setting powder and the glow palette and it's going to make your skin look like fireworks everywhere hi nicole hi ash hey girl i have to rewatch the beginning later do that nicole hi leah all right so i'm going to take the setting pretty setting spray let it set and this is also perfect to throw in your purse what the actual <laughs> Um, <clears throat> this is perfect to throw in your purse and just refresh your face later in the day. If you feel like you kind of get like a three o'clock slump where your makeup doesn't look as great or you just look tired, grab one of these and toss it in your purse. You will love it. Um, so that's the deal. That's the deal here. And I'm going to try to do something with my hair because as you can see, I've been monostatting. Look at the root regrowth. Heller. If anyone ever questioned Monistat's validity, please look at my roots. Please look at these roots, okay? I had my hair done the, when did I have it done? The first week of January. I have to wear it to the side now because of this. And we literally highlighted it to the root. There was no root whatsoever. And I've been monostatting it to no end. And look at all that regrowth. I mean, it's not good because I have to wear it. And I don't have another hair appointment until the middle of March. But it's good. And that means my hair is my growing. My hair is my growing. My hair is growing. So um, if you've never heard of the monostat hair trick, let me know. Because it's absolutely the best thing if you're trying to get your hair to grow. Excited to start switching over to Arbonne. Nicole, I could not be more happy that you said that. Um, I do also wanna show you, all right, so I've been drinking my skin elixir because we're growing healthy hair. Um, that starts from the inside out. I'm trying to, I ditched acrylic nails this week and I'm trying to grow finally for the first time in my entire life, healthy nails. My nails are disgusting. The nail beds are gross. My nails are trashed from years of acrylics. I need you to tell me about that and I need you to be over your hair sometime. Perfect, Kelly, send me a message. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I have trashed my nails. I used to bite them forever, so they're gross. They're not pretty, they're not thick, they peel. And if you have tips and tricks on how to rehab them, please tell me. I did <clears throat> get the Arbonne collagen builder which is an acai flavor and i added it to my fizz today so this has hyaluronic acid in it which helps everything stay youthful and plump and juicy i would love more information on healthy hair and nails kiwi we're grabbing you this also i got the biohydria i had a few products but the skin the biohydria skincare is on sale it's a hundred dollars off this month so i uh, and you get a free digestion plus so this is like our muffin top eraser that's what we call it um digestion plus i just throw it in my shake you can throw it in your coffee your fizz whatever it is that you're drinking it's tasteless but <clears throat> this is literally the muffin top eraser it helps erase all kinds of bloat it's so good and it comes free with the skincare so we have the re9 skincare set on sale and we also have the biohydria so Biohydria set that's on sale, it comes with the Biohydria tea. So this literally hydrates your skin from the inside out. 
amazing. You could do your biohydria tea in the morning with your skin elixir fizz in it. Hey, um, you get a biohydria gel cleanser, the biohydria gel cream, which is what I've been using. It's so good. It's like giving your skin a drink every time you put it on. And then for nighttime, you have the liquid serum and you have the eye gel, which I borrowed some of my girlfriends and it literally was like, I got under eye filler. You heard that right. It was like, it plumped up this area, which is the most fragile area of your skin. That skin underneath your eyes is the thinnest of your entire body. And this like plumps it up and strengthens it. So you're not gonna notice fine lines and wrinkles as much. It's earthing. Um, Katie, I will send you a message when we get off of here. Hi, Lindy. And I, Kelly, I'll also send you one. So if you guys have any questions about skincare, nutrition, <clears throat> makeup, we're $800 off of the February goal. That's so, 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 so attainable, but we're still $800 away. So I've got seven days to make that up and I'm here for it. If there's anything I can help you guys with, please let me know. Everything has a 45 day guarantee that you're gonna love it or you send it back for all of your money back. So you can literally try 30 days of skincare, decide how you feel about it. I know you're gonna love it, but just so you know, you have a 45 day window to return anything. That goes for the makeup. It's all customizable, but you can return it if you need to. Um, the 30 day healthy living bundle, obviously I'm all about it. It helped me lose a ton of, I don't wanna say a ton of weight. I lost nine pounds doing it, but I lost so much bloat, like my body composition changed significantly. And it helped me to sort of discover the things that I was eating that were contributing to my gut balance being off and just not feeling great. So now that I have sort of been trained by the 30 days, I don't even go for those foods anymore. I literally have switched over the things that are in my life every day. They say if you change your habits for 30 days, they stick. So if we could just change the Megan Bites Her Nails habit for 30 days, we might be cooking with fire. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on here. So send me messages, let me know how I can help you. We're so close, I know that we can do it. Spread the love, spread this video, put it on your wall, tell your friends and family if you know somebody who's looking for, you know, to take some weight off, if they've got a vacation coming up, if you're getting married and you just wanna look extra sexual chocolate in your dress, let me know because the 30 Day Healthy Living Bundle is also incredible. Plus this month with every $150 order, you get to become a, um, preferred customer for 12 months for free, which means that you get 20 to 40% off everything on the website for the 12 months. You get free shipping offers, you get free gift offers over $120. Um, just such good stuff. So I love you guys. I will message a few of you when we get off of here. I will take an after selfie and I'll list all the products that we use today. And um, I will be back on here tomorrow. If there's something that you guys wanna see, I have CC cream. I just got a new uh, mineral powder, like a face powder um, that came today. I have to order the eyeshadow palette again. Um, but yeah, it's all good in the hood. So I love you guys. I will see you back here tomorrow. Send me messages. Let's get your orders in today. Mwah.